everyone hello everyone welcome back to my adasia my youtube channel so we're gonna just go ahead and dive straight into this video because i don't want to be before y'all too long but i um actually wanted to make a video of things i don't do as a christian and this will more so be like a part one or whatever and then later on i'll probably eventually make another video just like this one and i will be giving y'all my explanations as to why i don't do these things um these are like my convictions and unpopular opinions kind of this is not at any means to judge or whatever um this is what i don't do at this point in my walk with god that i do take very seriously um not that i'm religious but i just care about a relationship and when you're in a relationship with someone you don't cheat on them you love them you care about them and the Bible says, if you love me, keep his commands. And um, I just really care about my, my relationship with God. And I only want to do what is pleasing to my father. So these are 10 things that I just don't do as a Christian. And if you do these things, kudos to you. That's between you and God. Some of these things you feel the same way about as I do. Then again, kudos to you. That's between you and God. Just pray that this bless you. And perhaps this can kind of give you um, open up your discernment to like the things that we some of these things is like okay like I you get what I'm saying so maybe this will change your mind about certain things I don't know again that's between you and God I didn't make any of these decisions based on what another Christian is doing I made these decisions based on my relationship with God and what I want and my relationship with God and just what I don't want and what I'm not gonna put up with because we already fight in a spiritual battle and I'm not about to invite other things that are just going to make it harder. Y'all might not like me for this one, but number one is Starbucks. Before 2023 started, I gave up Starbucks. So here's my why. I gave up Starbucks because Starbucks is demonic. I'm just going to put it out point blank period. Starbucks is demonic and I'm not going to invite marine spirits and a spirit of idolatry or addiction into my life. I'm just not. Again, we're fighting a spiritual battle. I don't want to fight any battles that I don't got to fight. I'm already fighting enough spiritually as a Christian. We fight already. Like, we already got to fight with a lot of stuff. So, I just want to keep it minimum, okay? If it's demonic, if it looks demonic, then it's giving demonic. So, also, I think the whole thing with Starbucks is one big idolatry thing. Because you got the line long. You got people obsessed with it drinking it every day starbucks is not my god marine spirit is not my god and I'm, I'm just not about to partake in it i was one of those that was obsessed with starbucks i would go there every day spending ten dollars every day being broke if i have to just to get starbucks uh, maya deja two years ago would have been like girl what we're going to starbucks no nah, we ain't going to starbucks we we just not we're done there's other coffee places there's duncan you have Seven Brew, you have Dutch Bros, you have other coffee places that are not promoting that marine demonic spirit. And I just want to tell y'all, it has a siren mermaid or whatever on their logo. And sirens lure sailors in to kill them. Starbucks lure their customers in to get them addicted. So it's all spiritual. That's why people are so obsessed with it. And it's giving idolatry and I'm just not about to fall for that because the Bible says do not have any gods before me and an idol can be anything so be very careful secular music slash TV I stopped listening to secular music as soon as I came to Christ I let to let that go it was a struggle um, it wasn't something overnight but eventually halfway through 2022 because I gave my life to Christ and the end of 2021 so this year in november will make three years halfway through 2022 i was completely done with secular music because I'm, I'm not inviting those demonic spirits or whatever into my life and if i know i don't live that life anymore why would i listen to things that are opposite when i was in the world listening to megan the stallion cardi b summer walker Janae, all the things they made it easier for me to go and sin but why would i listen to that 
if I know I want to live in purity, I know I want to wait to marriage, why would I listen to something that is completely opposite of that? And looking at it now, it's just like ultimately disgusting. You're talking about your bodies in a way that's very degrading and as a young woman, it's very disgusting. Again, a celebrity can be an idol too. I don't listen to no Beyonce, no none of that. I don't do that because she worship African gods and I can go more and more and more in depth, but you get the point. I don't listen to secular music. I don't do that as a Christian. I just don't because it don't glorify God. 99% of the time, I don't. That 1% is like people like Mary J. Blige because there are some secular music that do align with your faith or with your values. And as far as TV, I am not gonna listen to no Tyler Perry Studios, no Sisters, I used to love it. I used to love it, I used to be obsessed with it. Again, I was watching and listening to things that agree with the lifestyle I was living, but now that I'm living in a whole, to a whole totally different path, I can't allow that into my eye and my spiritual gates. Our eyes are the window of the soul. And I just don't, looking, looking at it now, I just don't like how Tyler Perry used his black cast members to promote domestic violence, wedlock, abuse, drama, fighting, perversion. I, I just don't like that. I just, I, I, th I think it's very disrespectful. So I just don't watch it. I, I honestly can't stand it because it's so perverted. And I'm not tempting myself. I'm not putting myself in situations and, and extra battles that I'm gonna have to fight. No, I, I'm just gonna cut it out. The Bible says we're called to be set apart. I'm not gonna listen to music or TV shows that don't glorify God. Nowadays, there's a lot of Christian movies out there. I don't watch them anymore as a Christian. Like, I don't watch All American anymore. I used to be obsessed with All American. I don't watch um, a lot of these shows that are popular today, but I'm okay with that because that means I have more time for God and I'm not distracted. Zodiac and astrology. So before I gave my life to Christ, I was obsessed with the zodiac and astrology, trying to match my birthday to a sign and thinking that I am this, I am that, I'm that. And eventually, I, when I gave my life to Christ, I realized the truth and I came out of agreement with that because I believe that my identity is, in, is found in Jesus Christ. Jesus is my God. If we look at Jacob and Esau, they were twins. They were born at the same time, but they were two different people. So that kind of debunks the whole zodiac astrology thing in itself, according to the Bible. I just think it's odd that after everything you do or say, somebody say, oh, I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Or they'll try to figure you out. Oh, what sign are you? Oh, you're this, you're that. It takes away from actually getting to know the person because you made assumptions based off a sign that is purely demonic. Purely demonic. It's not even accurate. People are just coming into an agreement with it. And that's why it seems so true. Because they actually agreed with it spiritually. People don't understand that. This stuff is demonic. A demon, Satan only give, Satan only has power that you give him. The spiritual world is all about legal rights. So if you legally agree that you are a Sagittarius, then guess what? It's probably gonna be true because that's what you came into an agreement with. That's what you spoke out of your mouth. The Bible says the tongue is very powerful. There's life and death in it. Y'all be thinking something so real, but no, it's just you use your tongue to speak that to be so. And really it's just purely demonic. And again, as a Christian, I don't do this because my identity is found in Christ. The only thing I should be speaking over me is what God's word says about me, not some zodiac sign. Et yoga. I do not do yoga as a Christian. People will say, so you can't stretch, you can't stretch. I didn't say I can't stretch, I said I don't do yoga. I'm not gonna chant to other gods, I'm not gonna sit in certain poses. It's a difference between stretching, like I'm pretty sure when, we, when you wake up every morning, you stretch. But I'm not gonna sit there and do yoga and call out to another god and my body language, if that makes sense, or by my, um, my mouth. I'm just not doing that. I do not cuss, I do not use foul language. Have I slipped up? Have I sometimes made a mistake? Yes, 
I repent for it. But as far as like using this as using cussing as a means to everything I do or or say or whenever every time I'm mad no I don't do that I don't cuss I don't use foul language and again this is why I don't listen to music that does these things because if you're listening to music or tv shows that does these things it's going to be easier for you to slip up and those were the times when I slipped up I don't cuss I'm not using my mouth in that way again there's a power in the tongue I also think cussing is just a means of you don't have a big vocabulary. So you, you just say the same words because you don't know any other words. So I suggest getting a dictionary or reading the Bible because if you actually, if you read the Bible, you'll learn some, some new words as well. But I don't have to use my mouth in that way. I can just say, oh my, that's fine. I don't have to say, oh, S. Disney and Netflix, this kind of goes hand in hand with the TV, Disney and Netflix. I don't support Disney. I don't support Netflix. That, and that that means I'm not going to know Disneyland. Yep, I said it. I'm not going there because I know their agenda. And the enemy loves to go ahead and get children early. So they can be programmed and brainwashed into what, what, the world want, what the world wants them to be. Disney is demonic. It promotes very demonic stuff. And it promotes things that are just contradictory to my faith. And Netflix, Netflix, I, again, all these are personal convictions. I gave up Netflix because I would always watch it. It had became an idol for me. I gave it up. And Netflix got a lot of sexual scenes up there. And for somebody that's re-waiting for marriage, I just don't think that's a good idea to set myself up for it. So I don't do Disney. I don't do Netflix. Drinking and smoking. I don't get drunk. Put it that way because I had had a glass of wine but it's been like a, it's, it's been almost a year actually since I had a glass of wine so honestly I don't really drink unless it's an occasion and I don't drink alcohol I drink wine there's a difference like I drink wine not alcohol because alcohol that's why they call them spirits because when you are drunk with alcohol you become a whole different person. You don't remember what happened. I want the Holy Spirit to take control of me. I want to be sober-minded in my thoughts, okay? I don't want to be inviting other spirits and other things like that. No, I don't want to do that. So, again, occasionally, on special occasions, I will drink a glass of wine. But, again, I haven't had wine in even almost a year or so. Smoking. I don't smoke. I never smoke. I honestly can't even be around smoke because it's hard to breathe. I just don't smoke I never liked it Halloween I do not celebrate Halloween Halloween is the devil's holiday people think it's purely a costume and that's what the devil wants you to think he wants you to think that oh okay it's just a costume but it's way way more than that it's demonic it's spiritual I suggest you to check out John Ramirez so I do not celebrate Halloween as a kid I grew up celebrating Halloween but as of now, as an adult, and um, in the future, I would not celebrate Halloween. Celebrate it again in my life because I know the things that take place spiritually that that I just don't got time for. So um, we know that the devil comes as the angel of light, and I'm not dumb to his schemes. I'm not foolish to his schemes. I know his schemes. I know his ways. So I'm not gonna sit there and like place myself in his trap. Like that's stupid. So when you know better, you do better. Swearing on God or people or using God's name in vain. So I don't put stuff on God. I don't put nothing on nobody's grave. And I'm not using God's name in vain. That's just something I'm not gonna do as a Christian. And have I done it in the past? Yes. And I repented, but I don't do that anymore as a Christian. Because why do I gotta put something on God or on somebody else on somebody's grave like why do I got to do that either you're telling the truth or you're not and if I don't, if if somebody don't believe me then it's not my job to make them believe me I don't have to prove a point God knows my heart he knows the truth and if they don't believe that what I'm saying is true I'm not gonna put it on somebody's grave or even put it on God just for them to believe me that's silly so you either believe me or you don't <laughs> listening to motivational preachers the name it claim it gospel I don't do this as a Christian 
as a Christian, I believe in the sound doctrine of the Bible, the whole Bible, yep, the whole Bible, the whole picture, not parts, not chunks, not little snippets, the whole picture, the whole Bible. So I do not listen to motivational preachers. I do not listen to Sarah Jakes. I do not listen to Joel Osteen. I do not listen to Mike Todd. I do not listen to um, T.D. Jakes. Um, I do not listen to some of these motivational speakers, I would say, false teachers today. And like to try to be God and try to speak things into existence, that is manifestation. That is new age. Not participating in the name it, claim it gospel. Okay. I hope this video finds you well. Comment below some things that you don't do as a Christian. I don't owe anyone explanations of the things I choose not to do to better my relationship with God. I don't owe anyone an explanation. So if you get in my comments trying to argue or trying to whatever, like, then you're just by yourself. Cause now if you have a genuine question, like if you want to ask a question as to why or whatever, and it's coming from a good place, I will gladly answer your question it's by no means to like make anybody feel bad about their journey your walk and your journey is your journey and eventually you'll get there because I, like I said two years ago most of these things I was still doing so it takes time it's not an overnight thing sanctification is a process God bless you